One treasure, which refuses to offer access to evidence, lies underneath the entrance to the Railway Hotel pub in Mells. Right, so what brings us here? It's an unusual place to bring archaeologists. Well, it's a nice place, Mark, but uh, <laughs> we're here because apparently buried under the front entrance of this pub is an old vessel which may be, may be a Viking. A Viking, Viking boat? Yep. Here. Here. In 1934, whilst rebuilding the pub, workmen discovered the remains of a boat. Local resident John McRae's father made the discovery and did a quick sketch of what he saw. And, uh, my dad noticed sticking out of the mud some wood and he cleared the section and found a boat. And the farmer come up and said, knock that off, get it cleared up, we don't want any archaeolo yeah. archaeological people holding up, like hold, holding up the job. development. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Consequently, they cleared it up. I asked him whether it was uh, what construction was it, and he was insistent that it was clinker. And he was the sort of man who would have known well, he knew, he knew about his ships. Yeah. Right. So, based on the evidence, was the boat Viking or not? Steve and I decided to investigate, so we travelled to the home of the Vikings, Oslo. So, what is it we're uh, here to see? Well, we're just coming to the uh, the Viking skip huset, which means literally. The Viking ship house. Oh, this should be absolutely fascinating. Yeah. This. I, I don't. So. I've never come face to face with a real Viking ship before. It's a quiet day in the Anglo-Saxon village till all of a sudden there's a crunch on the beach and this thing, this serpent, bear, dragon, whatever you want to call it, has just arrived spewing out Norsemen. You really don't have much choice. You either run and hide or you fight. The longboat was amazing, but I wanted to find out about our boat in Mel's. So we spoke to the Viking expert, Knut Porsche. You could have something like that. You know that you have a clinking build vessel. You might have the keel, but the boat you have looks a bit wider. It's not um, ended in this uh, in the same way as this one is. What are the chances this might be a, a, a burial boat? Yeah, in my opinion, it looks like it's laying a bit deep for that. Uh, those boat finds we know from Scandinavia. They are only dug down, let's say, 20 or 30 centimeter down to the ground, and then they are covered with a huge grave mound on the top. Yeah. But this is really laying deep in the clay. As I said, it's an Nordic clinker, that's for sure. So you should go down there. <laughs> So, Steve, do you think the Mel's Viking ship will ever see the light of day? I hope so, Mark. You know, the bit of money, some determination. Watch this space. Watch this space, indeed, yeah. 